thought it'd be fun to do a little uh, what's in your camera bag, end of 2021, start of 2022. I just think it's fun to look back at these and be like, oh, that's the stuff that I was using. It was straight. Yeah, it looks fine. Video is sponsored by Squarespace. Let's get into it. First things first, the bag itself is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Bag. So slightly smaller than his travel bag. Did a whole video on this puppy that Nomadic sponsored. It was fantastic. Bag is fantastic. Still kicking. This is the same one that I threw into the river and off the cliff and stuff. Not very many more scuffs or, or really anything since then. It just, it, it holds up. I like to really treat this thing rough and not care about where I put it down and it holds up. I use these water bottle holders for uh, headphones and my dock. Just really like the bag. I think in the US they're gonna start shipping if you backed it on Kickstarter at the end of January and then Canada and around the world I think is the end of February uh, because of supply chain issues. But love the bag, fantastic bag. Hype for you to get yours if you got one. PGY Tech sent me this. Actually I bought one of these and then PGY Tech sent me one of them. I'm not sure if this is the one I bought or the one that they gave me. But yeah, it's called a beetle clip and you can stick your camera, you know, right on there. It's like similar to the um, similar to the capture clip from I can't think of the other company. Same concept, click it on there, it locks, you press this button, unlock it, just quick access to your camera. Really been loving using it, especially for times when I have two bodies out, quick access to a wide lens and a tight lens or whatever. Moving right along, these are the Sony WXHM 1000 Mark IVs. I never remember exactly what they are. WH-1000XM4s. They're fantastic. I had the threes. I lost them in Austria and it was like the most terrible flight home because I didn't have my noise canceling headphones. Edit with these wired or they work Bluetooth, like listening to them all the time. You can connect two different devices at once, which is cool, like phone and my computer. Great sound, good noise cancellation. I kind of wish that they canceled out speaking more. They, they like sell it as like a positive, like you can hear people talk but I'm like, I don't wanna hear anybody talk, but like them in general. On this other side, we have a dock from Otherworld Computing. It's got um, three USB-C ports on there, then three USB type A ports on there, or I guess four, but this one's only 2.0. These are 3.2. I love it. It's fast SD card reader on this side. I love it, it's fast. It is kind of big and I carry it around, but the even bigger part is the power bank, which I absolutely hate. They unfortunately don't sell like just a smaller version of this. It's just a lot to carry around. Like I carry it with me all the time because my computer only has two ports and um, yeah, just kind of big and clunky to carry on. But the dock itself is fantastic. I mentioned my computer. It's the one year old 13 inch MacBook Pro. I have the 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. Works fantastic for editing, like uh, 4K, 10 bit on my Sony A7S III's. Just a great computer, still, still kick in. I strongly considered getting the new 14 inch or 16 inch, which is like the updated chip and everything. Um, but this, is, this still works just fine. It is a little bit small for video editing, like screen wise, but, um, but again, still gets the job done. I get a lot of questions about this pouch. This pouch is from Oliver Wright, uh, developed by him, sold by him. It's for sticking an SSD in, and then you don't have to use Velcro if you don't like the aesthetic of Velcro. And then, you know, it just goes right into your USB-Cs for when you're mobile editing on the go. I've been doing a lot of that uh, lately, like the aesthetic of it. That is the SSD pouch from Oliver Wright. Let's get inside. <laughs> I keep this thing pretty packed, as you will see. My bread and butter is my camera, the Sony a7S III. This has a small rig cage on it. Don't love it, don't hate it. Something I do not like about it is that it doesn't have Arca Swiss built in. I use Arca Swiss for all of my tripod attachments and it didn't have it built into the bottom of the cage, which I think is really weird because that was like a great feature they had on their EOS R cage. Sony a7S III, just a fantastic camera. Looking at the a7 IV whenever that comes out just because it has the higher megapixels for stills, like 24 as opposed to this is only 12 just gives me would give me more ability to crop in on stills would lose like I think 10 bit and a couple other things that I really like about the a7s3 so I'll probably end up just sticking with this for quite some time been using them for a year and absolutely love them have two of them a camera B camera just love not having to worry about matching two different cameras in post such steady workhorse cameras this lens is the Sigma 24 to 70 I'd say I use this 
almost 100% of the time on freelance work, freelance type stuff, um, just because like the reach and the, the range is pretty cool and I don't need to go much wider than 24 normally. Then for vlog style stuff, on, on the camera right there is the Tamron 17 to 28 and I use that for most of my vlog stuff. The bigger brother of that Tamron 17 to 28 is this Tamron 70 to 180. This is for when I need to, you know, get really tight on something or just like that, that telephoto look. Cool lens, both of these are kind of plasticky so they don't have that like metal feel that you that you love um, on a lens but also that makes them lighter they're pretty compact step up rings on both of them that bring them up to this 82 millimeter size for my variable nds which i'll get to but yeah great lenses the 17 to 28 ultra workhorse keep on that camera for vlogging all the time lighter and less expensive than the sony 16 to 35 I do definitely miss like the reach of the 35 millimeters as opposed to 28, but with 4K, you know, if I need to punch in, I just punch in, make it happen, and uh, and the lens works great. So those are my lenses. This is the Atomos Ninja 5, which I've been using for a good amount of client stuff. The, the reason I got it is because the director wanted to shoot in RAW, in ProRes RAW, and this has the ability to do that, so I have a bunch of batteries for it in here as well. Then an Angelbird 500 gigabyte uh, SSD that goes, that attaches right onto it. HDMI in to my camera, full HDMI in and out. Did have to get the Atomos like $60 HDMI cord because RAW wouldn't go through the cheaper cable that I originally had gotten. Uh, so a little, little side note there, but really cool monitor different aspect ratios for christina red i was shooting in square because it was going to live like on twitter and instagram primarily and so we just put it right on like square mode we could see we could frame stuff up easily focus peaking i used that a bunch on my last project just a great monitor with all of the different options it was like it has a d squeeze built in so i was using the anamorphic very bright as a monitor but then also works as a recorder just a just a fantastic uh, little little piece of tech right there that I really like. Probably should be using these right now, to be honest. These are the Rode Wireless Go 2. Bluetooth, wireless, two different transmitters, you know, two different mics. Big, big fan of it. Just got some new labs actually sent to me from Voice Technologies out of Switzerland. They work very well. I'm gonna do a dedicated video on them. I have some Rode ones that are very similar style and order that I can do some comparisons, but if I take this little pop screen wind thing off, like, See how, see how tiny that is? Really love it, love it a lot. Moving right along, Insta360, 1X. I don't always keep this in my camera bag, but it is in right now because I got to do a tunnel run out with the Navy just recently, and this was like recording my behind the scenes attached right to my gimbal. Always love that it freaks people out. They're like, how, who's shooting this behind the scenes shot? Like, how did you get it? Because it takes away its own uh, like selfie stick. So this is the version one, the 1X. 360 1X1, I don't know, yeah, just the 1X, like the original. Squarespace is your all-in-one website building platform that's right on the internet, super simple, you don't need to know how to code in order to use it, just a bunch of professional templates that get you up and running super fast. Bunch of different integrations, you can build a shop and sell stuff right on your site, you can book your calendar appointments right in your site, marketing campaigns, email campaigns and collections, whatever you need to do to build your brand with your website, Squarespace is your place. If you wanna try it out, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Wanner to get a free two week trial and then when you're ready to buy use the code Cody Wanner to get 10% off your first purchase. Mention these Peter McKinnon variable NDs from Polar Pro. This one's the two to five. I also have the six to nine. Um, these are the Mist edition and uh, yeah, just some of the best variable NDs that you can get. On my vlogs a lot of time I just end up over cranking stuff but for client stuff, you know, you wanna be able to shoot at 150th. This is another one of those microphones from Voice Technologies, just a slightly different style. This is the 69, this is the six to nine version from Polar Pro, just a darker for when you're shooting in bright light. USB-C to attach my cameras to my computer when I need to offload footage. Four terabyte V2 SanDisk SSD and a two terabyte V2 SanDisk SSD, so these are the faster ones. Little small rig tilt mount for mounting the Ninja 5 onto my camera cage. Little iPhone clip here from Manfrotto. Don't love it, but you know, love the concept. Need to be able to mount your phone sometimes. Arca Swiss, just like, just like st stuck on there. These are a bunch of PGY Tech Arca Swiss plates that I, again, just really like. Have a cool technology that 
kind of makes them not be able to come off even if they get loose, but also just like they're square, they go in both ways, you know, it's pretty pretty rad. This is a whole adventure that I need to make a video on, but got this 3D printed wiggle gram lens. It's got three lenses in there from a, from a Kodak camera. Uh, you can do some cool stuff with it. Just keep that in there in case I want to take any fun wiggle grams. Little tensioning arm, because you never know when you're gonna need to tension arm something somewhere. Gaffer's tape, can't live without it. Spare batteries. This is a card kit from Peter McKinnon Nomadic. I think it came with a travel version of the bag, but a bunch of different uh, SD card slots in there, and I keep other stuff in there as well. Big two gallon plastic bag, in case I ever get stuck in the rain and need to cover my camera up. Five microfiber cloths in there for cleaning lenses. Little tool kit, not really. It's actually just got these Allen wrenches in it. Uh, but I think that that came from PGY Tech. It came like with something. Little spare PGY Tech Arca Swiss plate. Again, love them and always need them. So keeping a spare around is good. Second to last, but but not second to least, is the tripod that I generally use for vlogging. Uh, also, the, there's got some snack bars, plant-based protein. Those you got that can't live, can't live without it. Here's a little small rig tabletop tripod. I've done a whole video on this. I really like it. I like that it's so low profile. Like if you want to mount it, kind of really low to the tabletop or whatever the surface is, but also you can get it up a little bit higher, and then also it's rigid. You can hold it. You can tighten these legs up. Just a good tripod, all around good tripod. Then I have this gaffer's tape created case for zip ties, which I need to refill, but zip ties are something you don't need until you have them with you, and then you use them all the time to attach things to other things. A little bonus, doesn't technically go in my bag, it stays in my trunk, but this Canvate shoulder mount, um, specifically mounted this way. So you'll see this shoulder plate, oftentimes mounted so that it's like, down, almost like it would be resting on your shoulder like like this, you know, and then this would be coming out. But they have this other way to attach it, which puts it like this. So it's kind of like for pressing back on your shoulder. Gives you a really steady shot. I put this Arca Swiss quick release on it because I didn't like the Manfrotto style that came with it. Easy to hold, easy to carry, easy to throw around. But mount it like this. Don't mount it the other way because it just doesn't make sense with our light cameras to like have it sitting on your shoulder. Often that's not like the style that you're looking for. So mount it like this and get that tension there. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, that's it. That's what's in my camera bag. That's what I shoot on. I do all my freelance stuff, all my YouTube stuff with all of this stuff.